Tara. Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very happy to have all of you here today. I hope that you will enjoy making this beautiful cardigan with bell leaves with decorated with this beautiful stitch. There are flowers. You won't believe how easy it is. Well, well, before we start, I want to invite all of you to subscribe remember that it's completely free don't forget to share this video and to give me a like so before we start i want to give you the material list let's start well for this cardigan in my size in a large size we are going to use 600 grams of this material that it's between light and medium look I will make it in this light beige and I will use the hook number 3.5 millimeters. Okay, so with one thread and with our hook, we are going to start making six chains. We are going to start making first all the flowers. So here we have three, four, five, and six. Then we are going to close in circle. We are going to slip one to close. Sorry if you listen some voices behind. We are going to slip one to close, then we will go up with one chain. Remember that when we slip one to close, we will take both uh, threads. We will make single crochets together inside this ring. We are going to make 16 single crochet inside, but we won't count the first chain that we made. Okay, so here we have 6, 7, 8. And while we make this, I suggest that we crochet over the thread which we started. And like this, we can hide it. As you could see, here I have this thread. And over it, I'm also um, making these stitches. So remember, we are going to continue like this until we have uh, 16. So, 14. 15 and 16 and well here now we are ready to slip one to close we will take both parts of the chain so now that we hide this thread a little bit now we are ready to cut remember that i always suggest that you hide the thread a little bit before you cut it like this you will make sure that this will and the stitch won't destroy it and will will last forever okay so we will go up with two, three, four, five chains, turn over twice, and in the same place, like this, like leaning the hook, we will take one, then take two, take two, and we will lift the last loop in hold. Again, turn over twice, and in the same place, take one, take two, two, and the last, and we will lift the last loop in hold. We will lift three, we will are going to slip one to close and make one chain to close. Well then we are going to make two, three, four, five chains, then turn over twice and we are going to skip some spaces. One, two, right here in the second, we are going to make this triple double crochet that one of you told me that this is the correct name, right? So right there inside we are going to make three and we are going to leave the last loop in hold. Once we have these loops in hold in the hook, we are going to bring them through and make one chain. Now here we are going to make 10 chains, four, five, six, okay, seven, eight, nine, 10 chains. Then turn over twice and again, here we are going to skip this and in the next one, we are going to make there the battle. So three triple double crochet in the same place, leaving the last loop in hold. So here we have three. Once we have these loops in hold, bring all of them, make one chain to close. One, two, three, four, five chains. Turn over twice, skip one, and in the next one. Again, the three triple double crochet in the same place, leaving the last loop in hold. Okay, and like this is how we are going to continue. Remember that we started making 16 single crochet. 
and like we are skipping one in a, between petals at the end we must have eight petals remember that once we are going to alternate we are going to make once ten chains and once five chains between petals okay so at the end remember to count eight petals like this one well the strip of chains that we made with ten chains will be the corners and between them we are going to have the five chains so like this uh, grannies we are going to make more uh, here at the end we are going to slip on to close and remember to leave always a long thread because later we will use this to hide it well as I told you we are going to continue making more I suggest that you start the next cranny and leave the last row in half because with that row I will show you how we are going to join okay so while we crochet we are going to join so see you there okay remember to have the corners and also the eight petals in each flower look as I told you uh, here I have the second flower I have five ten five and here I'm about to make the strip of chains with ten I only made five and I will join corner with corner please make sure that both crannies are facing to the right side so insert the hook right in the middle and then we are going to come back and complete the five chains out of the ten that we must have to make right so then turn over and come back and complete the stitch in this second cranny like this is how we are going to join the grannies while we crochet we are going to join I suggest always this technique because it's easier um, because if not you are going to make all your crannies and then you will have to cut or you will have to sew this is also up to you but this is the technique that I always like to use okay so here we are going to make chains and now right here in the middle of this segment we are going to insert the hook we are going to slip one and then we are going to come back and make the three chains out of the five that we must have to make in this segment we will skip one we are going to come back to this second granny to complete the stitch and make right here this petal okay then we are going to slip one to close, make one chain, one, two, three, four, five chains. Remember that we are going to alternate once five, once ten, and like this. So here we are going to make five out of the ten. We are going to come back to the first cranny, slip one right in the middle, come back and make the five chains. And then we are going to complete the rest of the stitch of the second cranny. And well, we are going to continue using this technique. If you know my videos, you know that I always like to use this technique because also you waste less material. I want to show you how it looks because we made and we have three joints. So in each cranny, we will have one, two, and three joints. And here we will have a beautiful drawing. Then in the next uh, segment, we are going to join right here. Then we are going to join this side and this side and like this we are going to construct. First we are going to create the back. You are going to measure the wide and the long of your back and then from there you are going to make as many grannies as you need until you get the long and the wide that you need. I did get ahead and I will show you what I, what I made. And well, for the leaves, it will change a little bit because I want the bell shape. So there we are going to use a hook in a bigger number to open more the stitch. Well, look, this is what I already made. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six crannies for the back and of long one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crannies for the long of my back. So I made seven grannies for the long and six grannies of wide, right? So you will decide also this will depend on how you crochet, okay? Then I add four more 
uh, crannies for each side, four in this side and four in the other side too. And also from here I will start constructing the first front and the first and the second front okay it will depend also of your body here I think I'm going to close a little bit because for me I think that these three crannies are too much for this size of the sleeve but I will see first try on remember that we are a different I'm making this a uh, cardigan for me so my body it's different than yours but you should try on and see how many crannies do you need Okay, also you want it longer or if you want it shorter, it will depend. And well, it's also important in the kind of yarn that you are using. You may have a lighter material and probably also you will need to make one extra cranny. So please take that into account how you crochet the yarn that you are using, the shape of your body, the, the style that you want, probably you want it longer or shorter. So all of that may change. So please try on and this is just the base and this is just um, how I will make it for me. Okay, but if you like it and if you want to make it exact the same, we'll follow the exact step. If not, you can, you can change it. Okay for the style and for uh, the cardigan that you want so well look this is what I have been making so far and here remember I had four well at the end I increase one granny more here to reduce this the shape and the size of the leaf because of the sleep sorry because I felt it was too open so I had one granny here and one granny in the other side so here at the end I have five and two for the sleeves. So this is my first front. I have three for the first front and then I reduce to make the B neckline that I want. I made just a half of the cranny and I made the same in the other side too. Here I reduce and I leave two crannies for the top. Now that we folded and that we joined, it will have more sense, okay? So try on, remember that I reduced the space of the sleeves and, and now I will show you how we are going to make just a half of the cranny. Okay, but before, try on, okay? Use some markers and then we are going to join here the shoulders. We are going to sew only one cranny in one side and one cranny in the other side too, okay? Look, to make the half of this uh, flower, we are going to start the same with 6 chains, and then 16 single crochet, and then we are going to make the first petal, and we are going to join it right away with the next cranny. But see you there to teach you how we are going to complete. Okay, so here we have the first petal, and we are going to join right here in the corner. Okay, please see where you are going to make this half of uh, the cranny. I will make it here where is the neckline. Okay, okay, so here we are going to make one, two, three, four, five chains. We are going to insert the hook right here in the middle of these uh, 10 chains. Then we are going to slip one, then one, two, three, four five chains we will turn over we are going to come back and complete uh, the cranny try not to twist okay so we are going to skip one and then next to it the second cranny so as you could see while we crochet and complete the cranny we are going to join so here we are going to make remember three triple double crochet in the same place then we are going to bring them through make one chain to close to one two we are going to insert the hook right in the other cranny right in the middle we are going to slip one to join then we are going to make three chains more to complete the five chains we will join here here and here okay okay so here we have three, four, and five crannies. Now we are going to just to um, adjust. 
we are going to make five chains and we are going to right here in the middle of the petal single crochet again five chains right here in the middle of the center of the flower single crochet again five chains right here in the middle of the petal single crochet and again five chains and right here in this joint single crochet we are just going to make this to complete and to keep this part straight of the neckline you see okay so we are going to make the same in the other side too okay we are just going to make the half of this granny to make the leg neckline right so we are going to uh, finish to join all the crannies that we have to make the back the first front the second front and then uh, see you to teach you how we are going to make the sleeves okay remember to leave here a long thread because later we will hide it it's important always so look once that we finished both fronts we and we are ready to try on now we are ready to join we are going to join two shoulders like this okay we are going to sew them one granny with one cranny perfectly uh, the sides until here corners with corners we, and well also the half of this cranny okay we are going to leave the other half uh, free and we are going to make the uh, the same in the second front right so once we finish to make all of this we are ready to make the sleeves once i close it i realize that I have five crannies for this space, so I count one, two, three, four, and five. So I made five crannies for the sleeve, and I did get ahead, I followed the same instructions. So we are going to make three segments with five crannies. So here we have five, we have two, and the third segment each one with five crannies that will go all around here I made three because it arrives to my elbow and then from there we are going to make an extra segment that will help us to open more the sleeves and to make the bell shape that we want At the beginning we are going to reduce a bit so in each square we are going to join two then we are going to open more the crannies to make the A shape or the bell shape that we want but don't worry for now let's make this first segment of three strips and then we will make together uh, the rest and how we are going to increase and everything for now if you want here in this hold you can join first the I mean once you finish to make the uh, the three segments of five crannies each one we can join like this and like this one you can try on and see if you like the long of your sleeve or no okay and then once you are sure now we are going to increase and we will be ready to uh, make the last part of our sleeve together but we'll see you once you finish to make all of this to make the rest of the sleeve well the crannies will be the same okay once you are sure once you finish to join and you like the long of your sleeve and now we are ready to make the rest remember that we are going to make a bell shape at the end just to give it a different touch so the crannies will be the same we are going to start we will make first two petals and we are going to join remember that in one cranny we are going to join two crannies so we will join here here and here okay in this same line and also remember that while we join uh, we are going to complete the cranny so we are going to join until here and we are going to make the same with the other crannies too so let me show you so here is where we are going to insert the hook then here and here we are going to join only one granny and we are going to make the same with the rest let me join one first and I will show you okay look so in each cranny as you could see I joined two we are also a create with this 
to put more crannies in each sleeve and with this we will open more the shape of the sleeve that we want okay so instead of having five crannies at the end we will have ten crannies because we are going to make two crannies in one cranny you see so we are going to continue making the same we are going to join here and also the sides I remember that while we crochet we are going to join following the same stitch and uh, completing the stitch so at the end we must have 10 crannies join in one cranny two in each one okay so look at the end I count and I have 10 crannies so far so I won't make any any more crannies I will just make the uh, last stitch for the edge so I made these uh, shells so it will be like this we will make and we will go up with five chains in the same place we are going to make a triple double crochet so here we have two and then three and like this is how we are going to make the shells and we are going to calculate and is a make one single crochet and well in this strip of chains we are going to make two shells together and we are going to count remember that we must have the same number of shells in one sleeve than in the other okay so our project can be beautiful and perfect to put attention in its these small details uh, we are going to hide all the threads that we may have also and then we will iron I will show you okay this will be the end for the sleeves I will see if we need to to, to do something extra I will show you and um, I will try on also to make sure that the long of the sleeve is perfect and so far I will continue making this stitch for the sleeves okay I will make the same in the other sleeve too and remember that you must have to count how many shells do you have in one sleeve to make the same in the other sleeve too okay and if you feel that you are in this step if you feel that you crochet too tight well change the number of your hook or lose a little bit okay just relax and enjoy what you are making so like this is how we are going to continue and we will have this we will make the same in the other sleeve too okay and here at the end I think in the sides of and in the first front and in the second front all around I will make one row of single crochet and then if you feel that uh, you need to reduce a little bit well then you can make uh, the crab stitch it's the same remember that it's the like the single crochet put backwards you can make this last stitch for the edge I think that the stitch by the owns it's perfect it's so beautiful so I don't feel that we need um, to do something extra right or you know like more a uh, different kind of stitches or like that I feel that just with crab stitch and with single crochet it's enough also if you felt that um you need to reduce a little bit i suggest that you first try on and see in this case i felt that in the part of the neck that it's the part that goes behind my back and covers my neck i feel that right there it was a little bit loose so right there in this half moon i will reduce and i will skip some stitches while i make the single crochet throw okay I think that with this final touches and with this uh, reduction we are ready we are going to iron and first we are going to hide all the threads that we may have using the braiding needle and then we are going to ready to iron remember to extend the flowers like this and then pass the iron and using a protection under well thank you so much for arriving till the end of the video I'm glad that you crochet this beautiful cardigan with me. I hope that you all make it and that share this video if you like it. Remember that you can subscribe and it's completely free. Just by clicking the red button below. Also, give me a like and activate the notification bells for more. 
Thank you so much and stay tuned for the coming videos. Follow me also in all my social media. See you there. Thanks again and take care. Bye bye.